All right, guys, we got to talk about how BlackRock, Fidelity, and MicroStrategy did not sell during the dip. Yes, it was all retail investors that panicked and sold during the dip. The big guys did not sell. They see future potential in Bitcoin. They know the market is going back up, regardless of any kind of redips or what. Yes, a lot of you are going to say, but they have to keep it because their uh, ETF investors did not sell. A lot of their ETF investors are big corporations and institutions, that means those institutions did not see a point of selling during the dip. And let's not forget, BlackRock and Fidelity actually buy a lot of their own uh, funds, and they buy a lot of each other's funds. So they actually do possess a lot of coins themselves, and if they didn't sell, that means they really do see something in Bitcoin that maybe the, uh, the retail investors did not sell. So I don't think you should actually panic. Now, Michael's strategy, I kind of like throw them out the window. They're not going to sell regardless. Michael Saylor will buy Bitcoin until the day he dies. He's not going to sell. But BlackRock and Fidelity, they are in this investing to make money. And the fact that they didn't sell their stash speaks volumes about what they think about Bitcoin. And this is the reason that you shouldn't have panicked and sold and you should have actually bought because these big guys are waiting for retailers to sell. Um, so they can actually buy. And once again, they saw the situation that like it was going to bounce back within a week or two because you know, like the Japanese arbitrage with Japanese borrowing and the yen carry trade, because the interest rate went up, basically got annihilated. And that money has to have like a week or two to actually reallocate and uh, basically reestablish their position in that market. So there was billions upon billions of dollars that got withdrawn, but that money most for the most part did not just disappear. And as it gets reinvested into the market in various ways, the market is gonna come up. That's why the Nikkei actually came up 9% after it dropped 12%. That's why the Dow is increasing now. And I do think it'll be a fairly fast rebound. I mean, in crypto, you already see it's a pretty fast rebound. We actually breached 57K today, and I think we'll continue to rise a little bit at a time in the coming days. So I really wouldn't be that afraid. Yeah, there could be another event that takes us down further, but I think all the chart readings of 32K or like 40K, that's depending on another catastrophic event to actually bring us down. And as long as we don't have another catastrophic event, I think we'll be okay. I think like on these rebounds, that are just basically overreactions to certain pieces of news, the charts don't really matter all that much. Um, it's just like people are going to settle down after they initially massively overreacted, especially the retail traders. And like the big institutional traders are buying back up. So the retail traders kind of like will play off of that over time. And of course, you know, like Bitcoin is still going to be very strong because the big guys are actually holding. And uh, it already bought, got back, bought back up by about seven, eight thousand dollars since it reached its bottom around 49K yesterday. So take that into consideration that the biggest guys did not actually sell their Bitcoin. It's the little guys that panicked and sold, and now they're going to be very sorry. And obviously, this is all because of leverage. Like leverage is what caused like you know that the forex carry and trade stuff to completely like vaporize because a lot of those guys were leveraged like 100 to 500x. And there was a 5% movement in the yen strength because they raised interest rates. The yen moved up like 5% against the dollar. And if you're leveraged 500x, you just got completely whacked on that one. Even if you were leveraged 100x, you got completely whacked on that one. So it was all the leverage trading on Forex, which is generally a pretty stable market. So when it moves 5%, it's going to wipe out a lot of things. And that's why you should not actually be panicking because the market is going to recover and the big guys did not sell. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.